I was 24 years old, faced with the overwhelming responsibility of being a single mom, due to recent separation, and working very hard at a very demanding job. I was on call 24 hours per day, 7 days a week in a hospital setting, setting up and sterilizing instruments for surgery. I was getting called in to work the dreaded, graveyard, shift, 11 p.m. to 7.30 a.m., a lot, sometimes weeks on end with no day off. My job performance began to suffer, as did my driving skills on the way home in the morning. I could hardly stay awake. My coworker, on the other hand, was working the same hours as me, but her energy seemed endless. I should also mention that she was single-handedly raising very active twin girls, as opposed to my one, mild-mannered, sweet little boy. How on earth was she doing it? One night, around 3 a.m., I asked her just that. She replied, Ya really wanna know? Come, air, I'll show ya. We proceeded into the break room, she closed and locked the door, poured out a small pile of this clearish, white, crystally looking stuff on the table, and began crushing it up. I said, no way. If that's coke, I'm outta here. Don't worry, she replied, it's not coke, it's speed. Oh. I said with a sigh of relief, that's cool. As long as it's not coke, cuz I've been clean now for five years after a four-year cocaine habit. That shit's like poison in my opinion. But speed? I guess it's okay. Duh. So I do my line. What comes next? Let's say, motivation is a profound understatement. Before I knew it, it was 7 a.m. The department, which is rather large, to say the least, was more than spotless, and I was still bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, reading the change of shift report, at about a mile a minute, to the morning crew. Who spiked your oatmeal? Asked another coworker as she passed by me. I laughed. Very alert, I had an excellent time driving home. My coworker had given me a small amount to get me going that night when I had to return to work, and it's a good thing, because I wasn't able to sleep at all that day. I'm telling you though, my house sure got a thorough cleaning. Upon arriving to work that night, I walked into an absolutely disastrous department. Surgery had been busy that day. Row upon row of instrument trays which needed to be set up, wrapped, and sterilized for surgery the following morning. Once again, when morning came, and after a few lines, the morning crew came into a neat and tidy department, and a well-organized, powerfully delivered change of shift report. This time however, I went home and went to sleep, after I took my son to preschool. My son. Dot his preschool. I had to keep him in that school. The tuition was $130 per week. Therefore I had to be able to work all of the crazy hours that I was called in for. My family expected that I provide my son with the very best, a pretty harsh demand, considering I was doing it alone. My husband just disappeared one day, he did the all too easy, deadbeat dad, thing for the next five years. Driven by the burden of responsible single parenting, and the desire to keep my job, I began purchasing and doing meth regularly. In the beginning, one quarter gram would last me three or four days. I'm 31 years old now, and I could, and do, consume about one half gram per day. I'm no longer working at that job, there's no need to. My husband came back a few years ago, we reconciled, and are to this day happily married. I run a small business from home, so that I can be an, at-home mom, to my now two sons. Not to worry, I stayed clean during my pregnancy, with some difficulty. I am an addict. I know this. I have the, battle scars to prove it. I'm only 31, and I wear a partial denture to fill in for the teeth that fell apart and rotted out. 21 root canals took care of the rest. A few years ago, people would guess by looking at me that I was in my late teens, early 20s. I did some modeling on the side, I wasn't bad looking. Now I have no smile to speak of, and I've added a rather harsh decade to my appearance. My husband still tells me I'm beautiful though, I love him for that. Every time I have tried to stop, the withdrawal symptoms got the better of me. I get very dizzy after about three days of abstinence, and the dizziness doesn't stop until I do some meth again. Believe me, I've really given it a legitimate chance. After three months of abstinence, a couple of different times, dealer got busted. I was still dizzy and falling down steps, three months. How long does it last? It's not just the dizziness. When I stop, everything about me goes into hibernation including the ol' intestinal tract, excuse the reference, it's extremely uncomfortable though. I would like to stop. I would like to be free from the bondage of this drug. I don't feel, however, that I can do it alone. I am fearful and somewhat ashamed to reveal my addiction to my doctor in exchange for treatment, if there is any available. I guess I'm afraid that he'll judge me somehow.
What have I learned from all of this? That I am only human, and by nature, the flesh is weak. Denial comes all too easy, and rationalism is just another way of putting the blinders on and forging ahead. Again, I'm only 31, but most of the time I feel like I'm 50.